Okay guys, hey remember this winch I was telling you that we're going to install and get a review done on it? We're going to start that today. I'm going to open up the box, get everything laid out so I see what I got and we'll be right back. Okay guys, um, I set the plate on here, I got it all measured out. Uh, I don't know if you could see these marks right here. This is center of the plate. Um, these are the holes I'm going to be drilling right here to mount it to this, and then I'll figure out a way to support it to the front rail. But I'm going to get ready to drill these out right here. I don't even know if I need to resupport it because the only thing I'm going to winch up on here is maybe a golf cart or my tractor or uh, our side by side. So probably won't even need that but I'm the type that's always got to overbuild so uh, let me get these drilled out and I'll get right back to you okay guys I got this almost completely mounted here on the trailer I'm just finishing up these last two outer ones here I got all the holes drilled <clears throat> and my camera lady will show you how I did it underneath here <coughs> and I do believe I will run supports from these bolts right here down to the front of the trailer. <coughs> Okay guys, as you see, I got that mounted up there and I did run a bracket from the winch plate down underneath the trailer and now I'm working on the wiring. As you see, it's all color coded. It's really easy. Blue to blue, black to black, red to red and soon to be yellow to yellow. And once I get all these hooked up, I'm going to mount it right here on the side prongs facing away so it'll be facing towards the trailer so I keep the moisture out because the back side of the block is sealed and when I get all this done then I'll come back to you okay guys as you see I got it mounted I got my support on got my wires up hooked up I got the block over here and I did this because I wanted it to get air because those get hot and it doesn't matter if it gets wet you know I mean you put them on four-wheel drives and you're submerging them and everything else so it's not going to hurt it any. I'm getting ready to hook the rollers up. And as you see, I released some of the wire. So we have enough to feed through here. And then you just push it through. And then let it go. And it'll kind of hold itself. And then we're going to go ahead and put our bolts through. See with my big fat fingers if I can uh, get these on here. And then get a little, get a nut going here. They don't give you much space down in there. Do you see that? A little tough there. Hold on. Pull it back just a little. Just enough to get that nut started. And let me tell you, if you're a big guy and you got big hands like me, that's a tight spot there, guys. Have your wife do it. Yeah, yeah, have your wife do it. Okay, you see how that goes on. I'm going to do the other side and then I'll be right back. Okay, guys, we got it wired up. I was just testing it using the battery charger. 
see. Looks like it's working fine. And to be honest with you, it's not all that loud for as big as it is. It's a 5,000 pound and it's pretty quiet for 5,000 pound. Okay, um, as you see what I did here, I brought this up through the center cap and I have this hole right here because if you see these notches, it makes it easy, especially if you're in the dark, you could see where those two white dots, those marks line up and then you're good to go. Okay, I am going to get all these wire twist ties or zip ties cut and cleaned up and I'll be back in a few minutes to show you it after it's all done, after we're cleaned up. Hey, I'm back. Boy, it's been a day out here in this humidity. But we did get it mounted. It's it's strong, it's secure. It's gonna pull anything up on the trailer I wanna pull up on there. Uh, I tried to clean up the wires here a little bit. Here's my two ends. And I'll be putting different ends on this and putting a little bit longer line so to reach to my truck because I'm going to have a straight line that runs to my truck. So once I plug it in, I got straight power for that winch. Uh, this, I'll just keep in the glove box. And because if I'm ever using a trailer, my truck's gonna be with me. So I'll have it in the glove box. And as you see here, this is a nice little cap that covers that plug up. And it, I mean, it turned out nice and clean and neat, I think. Um, I don't think I could clean it up any better than I, than I did. Uh, go around the other side, camera lady, and let's look at this and how it turned out. Uh, I didn't know this, but with the Badlands winch, they even send you a D-ring. Nice strap. This, that'd come in handy. I've never seen a winch come with one of these. Never. Um, anyway, looks clean, neat. It's on there nice and strong. I don't think I'm gonna have any trouble with it. One thing I'm thinking about doing is either making a cover that will come, come over and cover this, or just go pick up one of those uh, nylon ones that they sell for winches and just, you know, zip it over it and let it be. I'll probably wind up doing that because I really want to get to installing this line in my truck so this is all working because I get to go next week and pick up my new razor. So we'll, we'll have that on one of the videos to let you see it. Um, we sold our Can-Am that we had that we fixed up um, and we're upgrading to a razor, razor S uh, 900. Um, but when I get this going, when I start working on the truck, I will get the video going again so you guys can see how this is all turning out. But guys, I think this turned out really clean and neat, don't you? And it's solid here. I got a nice brace up front here that's holding it down, you know, so it don't do any tip. And I mean, here I'll show you. I mean, I can't even flex this. I tried to tilt it forward because the power would be coming from that side and there's no flex. As you can see so I don't think that bad boy is going anywhere I hope it don't anyway um, you let me know what you guys think um, I will be testing this and doing a review because this here in the next month or so this is going to get a lot of use so I'll do another video and let you know how it's holding up and I will be getting back to you guys on the white lettering on the tires I'll be doing another review on that to show you how it's held up. Uh, that's coming soon, but we really want to get this project done here so you guys can see it. Bye-bye. Have a great day.